before it's too late. Dr. Jeff Taylor has been studying whale sharks since the mid-1980s. He was one of the first to connect whale sharks to coral spawning. The numbers of whale sharks build up very quickly after the, the first coral spawning. And you can almost predict to the day, the, the day when one's going to have uh, the biggest numbers of whale sharks out there. And it's always in that period, two to three weeks after the first coral spawning. But this type of feeding frenzy is rare. Usually the whale sharks are calmly cruising the oceans just below the surface, doing what the scientists describe as passive feeding. Just gliding along with their mouths open, eating whatever enters. Meanwhile, the whale sharks escort fish follow on, or rather, in the pilot fish case, leads the way. It was thought that these juvenile golden trevally led the whale shark to its food, but it has now been discovered that in fact these fish use the pressure wave of the whale shark to push them along. Or like this cobia, who has just been the victim of a serious mugging, taking shelter above the whale shark's pectoral fin. Then there are the remoras, the suckerfish, hitchhikers who have grabbed a free ride and opportunistically grab a free feed whenever they can. These escort fish take little notice of Brad Norman as he continues his research. As well as building his photo ID library, he also physically measures the length of the whale sharks he encounters. Ningaloo's solitary sharks are predominantly young, immature males. While male whale sharks mature sexually at around eight and a half meters, this little one of just under three meters is the smallest whale shark ever recorded. This means that although this whale shark is almost three meters long, scientists don't know how old it is. He could be as young as three months or as old as three years. It's all part of the whale shark enigma. Very little is known about the whale sharks considering they're the largest fish in the ocean. Having only been really discovered by science in 1829, we haven't got a long history of any work that's been done on them. Even up until a few years ago, we didn't know how they actually bred, if they produced live young or laid eggs. We're starting to slowly chip away at finding out these different important aspects of the whale shark's biology. And I know that in the, in the near future, we'll be able to break some more ground on them. And it's the excitement of swimming with these gentle giants and the publicity that this has brought, which is helping raise the awareness of the plight of these creatures. I think ecotourism has great value. It provides the opportunity for uh, the general public from all walks of life and from all countries to see these sharks in their own environment and in their natural state. So it brings people in, they can appreciate the animals in their natural state, but also the hundreds or the thousands of people that get to swim with sharks can say, hey, they're a very, very special animal. We should do everything we can to protect them and try and ensure that their, uh, their conservation is upheld. Whale sharks became a favourite of the divers in the early 1990s, and since then thousands of divers have made a pilgrimage to Exmouth and Coral Bay to swim with these creatures. Many of those animals have been recited from year to year. There's one or two favourites. There's, there's one called Stumpy that's got no dorsal fin to its tail. That's a very popular animal because it swims so slowly and people can swim along with it for hours on end. There's another particular animal that's got a 
huge gash down the side of its gill. We, we, we've nicknamed that one Arthur Scargill. They're not there every year, but every second or third year we'll see them again. One of the reasons for Ningaloo's success is that it is one of the most predictable and easiest places in the world to see whale sharks. Meanwhile, while Brad continues his work with the numerous whale sharks visiting Ningaloo, in Donsal in the Philippines, Denise Newbound and Scott Eckhart are chasing their first sighting. <laughs> 